before we begin, remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications of new videos from Estate123. Okay, we are live. Okay. okay. Right. All right. Uh, thanks everyone for joining our session today. So this is the very first time we are doing a live stream directly to Facebook because uh, we have been getting some feedback on uh, some users that they want to know how to create uh, image um, to you know the, our Facebook profile page and even the Estate 123 profile page. So today we have Laura here that uh, will Hello. be showing us how to do that. So Laura, Laura is very familiar with Canva already. She has been using Canva yep. for, for a lot of uh, all the images that we have been doing in mm. our uh, Estate 123 and even Landlord 123 page uh, and all the marketing materials. So she will be sharing you that. And before we start, uh, remember okay. to follow us in our Facebook page and also our YouTube channel because whatever that we have been doing here, we will be uh, uploading it into YouTube as well. Okay, so remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, over to you, yep. Laura. All right, thanks, Wei Yong. Okay, so remember to subscribe our Estate 123 yes. YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so uh, today's session, I will be teaching you how to create a simple agent uh, cover photo for both your Facebook profile and also your Estate 123 uh, agent profile. So the uh, common... The, uh, the thing in common for, uh, for these two is that this uh, cover uh, image is usually like a long rectangle. So we'll be using this uh, as a base for our cover image. So wait, I'll share my screen. All right. So as you can see here, this is what the Estate 123 agent profile page looks like. Uh, this area would be your agent, I mean your beautiful face or your handsome face <laughs> and this would be your cover image. So for now, this is the default uh, cover image that uh, SD123 uh, has provided for your agent profile. Uh, you can change this to any image you like. So I'll be teaching you how to change it to something that uh, will be able to promote yourself as an agent. And then, uh, okay. And then this will be your standard uh, Facebook cover image. So it's also a long rectangular image. You can also use it to uh, put whatever agent, uh, your details uh, here. So you can use one cover image for both websites, SD123 and Facebook. Okay, so First, you will see this. Uh, this is something like a cheat sheet for you to see what what's the best uh, image size for all the different platforms. Of course, for profile photos everywhere, you will need a square image. Uh, and for cover photos, there's no cover photo for Instagram. Facebook has the smallest one, which is eight five one by three one five pixels, and uh, LinkedIn also has a similar but uh, slightly bigger and narrower image. So we'll go with the Facebook one, which is 851 by 315. And then for our estate 123 image, when you go to add, uh, my account and then you go to profile, you'll be able to see where you can edit your profile. And here we have the recommended dimension for your background photo, which uh, we also call our cover photo, which is 1920 by 800. So this one is quite big in comparison to the Facebook one, but uh, you can use down, downsize it a little bit so that the file won't be so big because as you can see, the file size should be below 500 KV. So um, using Canva, you, I just have to remember 1920 by 800. So let's go to Canva. Okay, this one is something that I already prepared. They're very okay. useful. <laughs> so, sort of like a template. Okay, so uh, here you can choose custom size, but if you're really curious, you can try to uh, type and see whether there's something that you can choose from, from their templates. So there's a Facebook cover here. And yeah. But we'll be using uh we'll be doing this based on our SD123 
uh, background image size. So it's 1920 by 800. So normally when you choose custom size, it will be unlocked. So once you lock it, it will lock the, the uh, ratio. So once you have this in, you can type in a smaller image, a uh, smaller size, like, uh, for example, 1000, and then it will auto uh, uh, resize it for you according to the ratio that you've given it. So 1000 is a lot better than 1900. Yep. So let's go with this one. So create new design. All right. So you can see here, you can toggle the uh, percentage of the image, how big you want it to be when you're working on it. Normally, I will go with 35. You can also go up to 100% if that's uh, the actual size. So for this one, this is the same one, so don't worry. Okay. So this one, I've labeled my project as agent profile banner. You can also change it to cover image so that it's easier to remember. Okay. So the first thing that you need to have are a few uh, vital details. Of course, you will need your agency logo as a property agent. Of course, you will know your name so that other people can know your name. Uh, remember to put in your um, as the agent or negotiator number so that people can know your alleged agent. Of course, co your contact number and also email so that uh, your clients, uh, potential clients can get in touch with you if they, they see anything they like from your listings. So these are some extra things that you can add to your image if you, if you do have some, uh, like maybe you have a special award that you want to let people know or uh, you want to let people know what's your specialized area or property type. Maybe you specialize in residential property or uh, commercial property or maybe like luxury properties. So you can add that into your uh, cover, cover image as well. Okay, so once we have the size, you will need a nice background for your, for your image. So I have prepared something because, uh, well, I like, really like the KL skyline and it looks very nice. And if you're, uh, it, it is easily recognizable. So there are a few images that you can choose from. You can upload it into your Canva and then you can just use it like that. So, okay, so let's say I'm using this image as the main image for my cover. You can drag it to, to fit like this nicely or because we, we are going to do this, uh, the design will be mainly on the right side because here would be your profile image. So we don't want anything to be covered by your uh, by your headshot. <laughs> so, okay. So you see this one is quite bland. So we just want to zoom in and put the easily recognizable KLCC on the left side. So just double click and then you can drag it. If your image is too small, it might turn out a bit pixely. So try to get a high resolution image for this one. So just drag it until you, you, you're, satisf you're satisfied with it. And then there you go. That will be your background image. Then, okay. Yeah, actually talking about all these images, in fact, there are a number of uh, those free, um, Im uh, free image library that uh, we can use to download that, right? So yep. I think for, for all our users here, if you don't have uh, the, the KL Tower image like this, right, or the KLCC image, you can actually go to some of those um, uh, library, image library to get those that is uh, free free to use. Don't don't use those that is, uh, you have to pay and then go and edit it. So try to get those yeah. free ones that is, uh, yeah. uh, you can use. Don't use the ones with watermark because that, that will not look very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Or if, if you, you are really a photo photography enthusiast, maybe on your, uh, I mean, you can go around taking some nice photos and use that as well. So that will be a unique one instead of 
like everybody seeing the same photo on on different yes. uh, agents' profiles, you can have your own unique photo. Yep. So okay, that one will be your background. Then, of course, you will have your professional uh, photograph, so you can upload that as well. I'm just using a, a generic uh, professional looking lady as, uh, as my uh, picture. So, okay, first thing, you will need this thing as a uh, background for your information. Because if you directly put the image on uh, your text here, it won't be very uh, visible. So just choose a shape. Let's go with a circle. Okay. Circle. This one, we will make it transparent so that you can still see the uh, image behind it. So, circle, toggle the transparency. I recommend about 60% transparency, and then you can change the, the color as well. So, let's say I my agency color is purple, so I just use the purple as a transparent layer. So, all right. So next, I'll put my agency. So pretend I'm from agency called Estate One Two Three. You can either put it here or here, any anywhere you like that uh, that is uh, noticeable. So instead of putting it here, I can put it here. Then there's there will be more space for my personal information in this area. Okay, so now that you have the transparent background thing, uh, I'll just change it to white so that it's... Okay. Next, you will put your uh, personal photo there. So you will need a frame. Frame, you will go to elements. You can, okay, frames. You can choose any kind of shape you like. If your, uh, if your image has a transparent background, that means like without all the spirit thing, you can just put it there. It will, look, it will look really nice, but because this image doesn't have a transparent background, so I'll just put a frame for it. So I'll choose a, just a rectangular frame. So it will be in between the transparent and the non-transparent part. I have my photo uploaded, so I'll just put a photo here and then adjust it so that you're in the middle and it's easily vis visible. You can change the outline. Okay. So now for, the, for all the details that uh, people need to know about you. So you can just add a text. This one, because I change, I move my logo from here to here, so there's more space for me to put. So, okay. Let's say this lady is called Ashley. Okay. Put your full name so that people can uh, know you. This one, if it's too long, you can just either make it smaller. or you just uh, adjust it as you see fit. So maybe you can just put it like this. So if you see there's too much space, just adjust the line. Okay. You can also ad adjust the sizing from by resizing here. Okay, all right. So this one, this one will establish your name as Ashley. So you will need a REN number. So just put in your REN number underneath. Okay. Then you can add uh, whatever details that you will need, like your number. So your team. Okay, this will be a contact number. Make it bigger so that people can know who to call. All right, then your email. So this will be your basic information that people 
uh, can see at a glance. You can also add uh, some extra text in here if you like. Uh, wait. All right, this one will be smaller. I specialize in commercial property in Subang Jaya. Okay, so that will be like your selling point as well. Okay. All right. So there you have it. This one will be your cover image for both uh, with all the important information that you can use in most of your social media platforms. You can also upload it to other places just as a self-introduction and also uh, you know, as a card, <laughs> introduction card. So once you, you're satisfied with this, just download it. Now it's so convenient. I just, just okay, I'll like choose this. a smaller size image because some places they might not allow it to be so big. Then you choose the one that you like and then download it. Actually, either, either it's JPEG or PNG or so, it will be okay. Yeah. You can use either one. These two are the most uh, generally accepted uh, file types. Yeah. Okay, so now it's in my downloads folder. Okay, let's try it on my uh, this uh, test profile. So I already have a, a profile picture here. So I will just upload the background photo. Downloads. Okay, so you see the, the file name is already here. Just scroll down, save your changes. Okay, so it already appears here. So you can go over to your, uh, check the, uh, your agent profile that is uh, viewable by the public. So this one will be my uh, public agent profile. So yeah, so there you go. It might look a little bit different because of the uh, your monitor size and also your browser size. So you can just, uh, it kind of depends on where you're viewing it. But generally the information should be quite clear and you can see it uh, on both your desktop and also in your uh, mobile browser. All right. So, uh, can I change this one? <laughs> oh, yeah, for, <laughs> just, for, just after this, yeah. Hmm. yeah, so this one would be uh, for Facebook. Okay, I will upload this, upload this so that you can see. Uh, wait, how do I upload? Ah, upload, sorry. Okay, so let's say this is my page as an agent. You can upload it and then you can uh, drag it so that uh, the, all the relevant details are uh, easily visible. So once you're satisfied with the positioning, just save your changes. And there you go. This one, you can also use it for Facebook. So yeah, this is would be like a cover image for anywhere that you want to use it really. And then of course you can uh, upload it uh, as a normal image to promote yourself. And maybe if you're, you're active in some forums, right, you can also put it as your signature, <laughs> like the thing at the bottom, even though I know not many people join forums nowadays. Lah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think now, nowadays it's more to you know, creating their own contents, especially on the YouTube, right? like, like what we have been sharing. So everyone try to you know, maximize the, all these medias that we have, right? Um, as they want to treat this this platform that we that we created, we try to make it as as uh, informative as possible, so that the agents can promote themselves more in the platform. Yeah, yeah. So there is actually lots of ways you can uh create a cover image. Uh, so you can do something like this that's simple but also looks professional and has all your details on it. Uh, I think I will just screenshot this as sort of a template 
and then I'll share it in the estate one two three page so that if anybody wants to like just follow the template and follow it exactly with all the details, then they can just uh put this template. next to their yeah, you just put it next to your Canva and then follow the, <laughs> the images and the mm. positioning and all that. Just change the details. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're done for today's uh demo. Okay. Thanks a lot okay. for, for sharing. All right, no problem. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Let me stop share here. Okay. All right. So that's it for today's uh, Canva demo session. If there are any requests, if you want to know like how to make a, a Facebook post to promote your property, or maybe like a even story, you can even create stories for uh, Facebook or your Instagram. Yeah, we can also do that too. So let, let us know what. Yes, we will create more sessions like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a really versatile tool and it's free to use. You just sometimes need to find your own uh, images and all that. But generally, it's very easy to use. So uh, if you have any questions, drop us a comment or just uh, message us. <laughs> yes. And most important, remember to follow our YouTube channel and also the Facebook page. So to get any updates that we have uh, regarding this. So we not only just keep on sharing about you know how, how to uh, do property posting, we will be sharing ideas on how you can maximize all the platforms that is available to market your property. Okay. Yeah, because right. now digital marketing is the way to sell your properties now. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So that's all for today. All right. Thanks everyone for joining the session. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.